Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is your boy Keenan Lambert. I am here back in Havana, Cuba, and I'm here with Alina uh, Fernandez. We're gonna do Cuban things. There we go. Only 90 miles from the shore of the United States, this place is a whole different world. Here we go. So guys, I'm gonna give you what the basic structure of this video is gonna be. Alina's gonna be here with me, hanging for a little bit. Then we're gonna eat. We're gonna hear about my crazy stories. <laughs> we are gonna hear about her crazy stories. We're gonna eat some good food. And then she's going to abandon her duties and leave me. Right? No, her... don't say that. I'm just gonna be with my mom. She's abandoning your boy and then I'll be left to the whims of the street. I'm gonna get attacked by women, you'll see. So guys, let me actually tell you about my girl, Alina. She's a young up and coming tour guide. And any of you that need walking tours, apartments, etc., hit up my girl. Cubans love foreigners. Okay. You see, Cuba is a special place, but the food tends to be somewhere between edible and gross. This is a hell of a lot worse than it looks. Um, I don't know how you can serve to see humans. I really don't know. Let's treat our girl Alina to some of the best food here in La Habana. Wait, 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 who's that? So, for those of you who watch the channel, you know that I've done a video talking about relationships here in Cuba, gringos dating Cubans, mainly focusing on Cuban women. And Alina, obviously she lives here, so she sees this thing all the time. I'm curious about her perspective. I know you are. Let's hear from her. ¿Qué tú piensas, mi amiga? Okay. There are like, I, I would say that there are three kind of relationships with Cuban people, Cuban girls, and also Cuban boys. With foreigners, with foreigners. There are prostitutes looking for old guys or young guys who gave money to them and try to scam. There are no prostitutes looking for someone to take them out to the country that uh, they only care about that, you know, isn't real love. And there are other people like, like me. They're like like the foreigners come and then and they really love that. They really enjoy talking with them. They don't care about if they have money or not. It's just like part of real human culture. I stay with uh, an Ameri two Americans, uh, one Spanish, a Mexican, and a British. Uh, uh, three of them, students, that I started with them, we stay for a time, but it uh, wasn't like boring for me and I stopped that. And uh, two Americans and Spanish, I met them in in my workplace, so they love me. <laughs> in Miramar, Miramar is a place like for rich people. That the name is uh, First Avenue and Third Avenue and Five Fifth Avenue. There are many rich people from how do I say empresas? Oh, um, embassies. Uh, embassies, but yeah. empresa. Oh. Ooh. A company, for company, for company. Okay, okay. People from company, and he invited me to this new restaurant in First Avenue. I was like, okay, I'll go. If you have the money, I'll go. Un, un blanco or un moreno? A white. He's Mexican, uh, Mexican, a Mexican guy. She likes the blanquitos. <laughs> but I also date with, with negritos. My ex-boyfriends. Tall she lying. I don't lie. <laughs> I don't lie. I can show you pictures. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Continue, so continue. He invited me there. Mm -hmm. The place was amazing with a uh, beautiful sea view. Uh, the place was very expensive. Where like uh, in Cuban pesos are 10,000. 10,000 Cuban pesos. And that's a lot for two people 
we have uh, this, uh, we had, I think, maybe a coctilla or cerdo, and I had roba vieja. Tastes really, really good, but what's the little? I was so hungry, I finished hungry. And the spirit was the best, but very expensive. So don't go to Miramar to have it. And so let's dig more into her business. So are you still dating this guy? No. What happened? I don't like Mexican people. Oh! So wait. Let's be clear, uh, there are cultural differences, and due to the cultural differences, they could not continue with their uh, relationship. Alina, what looks good here? Uh, what looks good on the menu for you? On the menu, uh, maybe the pizza. Pizza. Pizza, pasta. But they have many things. I haven't shaken everything. I don't know what it's about. There's pizza all over Cuba, and you guys know from New York, so I'm a pizza snob. This Cuban pizza thing is not for me, but maybe we'll taste a piece of hers if she has it. The last time I had pizza in Cuba, I had diarrhea for a whole week. For those of you who watch the channel, you know that El Biki is one of my favorite spots. So right now we're going to chow down on some food. Pizza is amazing. It smells good. I have to say it. Remember, the New Yorker in me is saying this is all blasphemy, but we'll do. With hands, Actually, it's very with hands. But you get your mind out of the gutter. Yes. Mm. 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 Okay, one, wait. I'll press it with you here. Mm. I, think, uh, I don't think that are like the pizzas. Tell you what. It's not bad. It's not bad. But warning, I am hungry. Mm -hmm. When you're hungry, everything tastes like filet mignon. Yeah. Uh, this one is made by the Ganero Cook. Oh, yeah? But it's another... Yeah. It's like, you're used to Ganero. Let's do it the same with Ganero Mount, yeah. but put it in another open. The Cuban government does make some damn good drinks. I can't lie. This is a new brand. Yeah. It's all marketing. It's all marketing, see? You get it. You get it. So, let's be clear about something. Coming here as a foreigner, we experience a reality that's very different from that of Cubans. You have to deal with transportation problems that we have, with the money problems, anything of that, okay? If you're hungry, you just go to the restaurant and take something. We don't do that. We can't do that. It's impossible for us. Way to do it. But there you have like two. Also, you have also two. You can go to a, to a restaurant. Only spend your time there, and you're gonna see. Oh, the is amazing. The beaches are amazing. It's just the the picture that they send you. Okay, so isn't like real, real, real. And there is another way to do it. Like trying to go to the places that we go. It's still not going to be like us, but you're gonna have like close with the reality. So, but to be like completely in. Touch with it, you have to take a bus. <laughs> Believe me, that's like an adventure. Like you were in the jungle. Have you tried? You never tried. Have you tried a, a bus? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. For, for example, sometimes you have to wait half an hour, maybe 15 minutes, maybe two hours. You don't know. It's like a surprise. You know. Exactly, it's a surprise waiting for the boss here. And they're full. You guys remember my boy Yasser? I actually saw him in the street yesterday and he told me that he was robbed on the bus while he wasn't paying attention. Adios to his cell phone. They're full. Like really full of people. And sometimes you're in the door. Feels sticking on the door because you have someone in front of you and someone here and you're like. And how much does it cost for a ride? 
uh, only two Cuban pesos. Two Cuban and pesos. if you're a university student like me, you only pay one Cuban peso. So essentially, transportation is free, but it sucks. But the situation here is impossible for us. For example, my career, I, if I want to get better in my career, here I'm not gonna do it. I don't see a future here. Even if I love my country, I don't see a future here. So the only way to have a future is out of here. That's sad, but it's normal. So that's why a lot of the times when you're out there in the streets here in Cuba, walking around, a woman might call to you and say, Hey Chico, ven aquí. Let's go out tonight. Let's have fun. Be my boyfriend. She wants to get out. We're out of here for now. I got more for you. When you're ready. Peace out. She's so wild. She's so crazy. Tu amiguita dice que yo soy pesado. Dice que soy malo.